we just finished uh, day five practice. And each day it's all about just getting better and uh, just fundamentals and technique. And the football team is what we need to do is just establish an identity. And we know that there's only nine seniors, but still the leadership is still there because you still have guys that have played enough. We're still a young football team, but there's enough guys that have played that you, you feel comfortable where even if it's a young, you know, if it's a junior or senior who can step up and be a leader, that's, that's what we're looking for. And I just noticed just looking uh, at the way our guys have worked, they, they've responded well so far, but, you know, we're five days into it. We still have a, a number of practices left to go, and we just continue just to watch how we develop as a football team and coming together as a football team. Because once you develop the leadership, then you start developing a team. And then the team, the leaders can inspire and they can direct and they can pull together a group of men and they can just get them all just headed in the right direction, which we haven't been able to do in the past two years and hoping we can get that accomplished through preseason camp and then hoping that it carries on in the fall camp. But just like the way, uh, just excited about how, how well our guys are, are working so far. You know, just looking at the quarterback position, Teddy is just continuing to just get better each and every day, continue to make the throws, and it's very comfortable in the offense right now. Uh, Coach Watson has done a great job where Teddy now has become a student of the game where he really understands and commands the offense. Will Stein is still doing a great job also. Even And I told Will the other day is that you still I would still want you to push him. Don't, don't take a back seat because at some point we're going to need you. And then in running back position, you've got five running backs that are there's just – each one of them have a different quality, but you look at uh, Dominique Brown, you look at Sonoris Perry, you look at Jeremy Wright, you look at Corbin Lamb, and then the young kid. Uh, so we with Radcliffe, we have enough guys there that, uh, you know, Dominique is big and powerful. Jeremy's a guy that can make you miss. Uh, Corbin Lamb is, is built with low to the ground, just like Radcliffe, where they can run and they can just power run is where they can run through guys. But you have five running backs, and I've been very well pleased with our wide receiver play. You know, taking gains, the gains with the defensive back, uh, taking gains and moving him to wide receiver has just really it just added enthusiasm in that group. And, and Gaines is an outstanding player, but just uh, just the way he goes in, each day he's out there, he's talking, and he's and, and he's not talking to the defensive backs, but he's talking to his, his own group of guys, encouraging them, saying, let's go, guys. And now Andrea has stepped it out. Devontae Parker is, is showing a lot for us right now. Copeland, Jared Davis, all, all the guys that we need to step, into, step up at that position now are coming in their own, and they're coming into a, a really good group. And, and you, when you have a quarterback who can throw you the football, then you do have some wide receivers who want to work because they want the ball in their hands. But it's only one football, and I tell them all the time, hey, everybody, you can't have the ball every play, so you'll get your numbers, and Coach Watson is doing a good job of spreading that ball around. The tight end position uh, with, with Nord and Hubble and uh, Chris White uh, coming along then, uh, with our freshman, uh, Hunter. But the thing about that position is that we, we just get, we got to get a support tight end where we, because we know this, we're going to play some tight ends, and, and we need a fourth tight end because we want to run that football. In our offensive line, we look at Jamon Brown, you look at Jake Smith, you look at Mario, you go, go to the other side with, with Cup outside and with John Miller. And, you know, you got five, five guys that started at some point during the uh, last season. You know, Cover being a veteran there, and then we'll get Mario back. He's been healthy. It's the first camp that he's been through where he's been healthy, where he's practicing. You know, last year this time, we did not see him. I have been, even since I took the job, I didn't get a, haven't had a chance to really see the Mario that we've been looking for. But now he's coming into his own where he's becoming that guy for us and on the offensive line. And then you think of what Mac has got to develop and help us, Elf's got to develop and help us. Romano, uh, Jorier's got to develop and help us. But we get, we have to develop those guys behind him because we know we have, we have five solid. You need anywhere from eight to nine to be really good on the offensive line because you may have some injuries. So we need to really develop the, uh, that young group of guys and bring them along. And defensively, I was telling Coach Hurt the other day, we're, we're just athletic in that position now. And just looking at, at what we have inside now with Brandon Dunn, with Roy Phylon, with a big man. <laughs> he's, he's so big. Louis Main, because we're Jermaine Brooks. But, but you have three big guys in there. And now with Sheldon Rankins being a young guy and D'Angelo Brown being two young guys that are coming along to have, give us some added depth inside that we need. Because 
because you've got to be good down the middle. You know, when you look at your football team, you have to be good down the middle. I always say it starts with the center, the quarterback, the nose guard, the middle linebacker goes to the free safety. You have to be good down the middle. If you're good down the middle, then you're going to have a chance to win a, a lot of football games. And then you look at the outside of B.J. DePost, B.J. Butler, Malden, Mount, you know, just, uh, you have a, a group of guys there that, that are guys that are just coming on. Uh, Marcus Smith, guys that are coming on at that position that are just athletic and just athletic enough where you can go rush a pass and you can put pressure on where we don't have to uh, blitz every time. Until Vance, maybe this may be the group, and we're still young, we're still developing, but maybe be the group of guys that we can go rush for and hope that we can get some pressure on a quarterback with those four guys. Then at the linebacker position, uh, Preston Brown, you look at him, he's big, he's 250 pounds. And I always tell Preston, he's got to be the leader because you do you want the guy in the middle to be the leader, especially on defense because he's a guy that's going to make the calls. He's a guy that's going to make the checks. He's a guy that does all the talking. So we got to look to him for leadership. And then Keith Brown's a young guy. Burgess is young. Daniel Brown, Durant. But you, you have guys that they're two young guys. They're coming on where they're doing a good job of pushing, where they've learned and they understand. The good thing about them was getting here in January, so when they got here in January, they were able to learn the defense. And now you look in the secondary, you know, you got the guys back. You got Boo Shell and Drew Johnson back. You have Pryor and Akeem Smith. So you have those guys back in the back end. You have all four starters back. So you're, you're, you're just seeing that each day they're getting better. Where the competition is good with our wide receivers and defensive backs, it's really good because they're going against a good group of wide receivers that can put pressure on them. And the ball can get up and go get the ball from them. They're fast enough where they can run by them. But it, it is. It's, uh, you know, we still have a lot of days left. We still have a long, 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 long ways to go. We're nowhere near where we should be, and we got to continue to get better and better each and every day. And that's got to happen just to watch this football team because it's still got to come down to accountability. What well, guys just get lined up. Let's get our feet in the ground. Let's get lined up. Listen to a call and just do what your coach to do. That's, that's all I ask them to do. And a lot of times I say, reason why, why did you do it? I know your coach didn't tell you to do it. So we shouldn't be making those mistakes. Even though we're young, you feel like enough guys have played where you can not say you're a veteran team, but you're still growing, maturing, and, and developing and hoping that you can become a, a veteran team at some point, hoping that's before the first game. But like I said, look, we just had to continue to work and, and just like the, just the attitude of this football team and the way they're working and how hard they're working and their understanding.